Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, we're going to try to explain a little something here for a lot of people that have a hard time understanding the way uh, graphics memory is shared and what GPUs do actually on your PC and why you can and cannot do certain things. So if we look here at my gaming laptop, you'll see that on my GPU, my graphics processor, we have information about its memory and one is dedicated GPU memory it tells me that I got six gigabytes of it then it says GPU memory total here which is 13.7 that's because it includes what's called shared GPU memory 7.7 .7 gigabytes what does it all mean and does it mean I've got 13.7 gigabytes on my GPU here's a trick any game or any software that says you need X amount of gigabytes of RAM memory, of GPU memory, it's the de dedicated GPU memory that counts. So if I have a game that tells me I need eight gigabytes on my GPU, it will not work in this configuration. Now you're gonna say, well, it says GPU memory 13.7. Yes, but no games and no apps actually want to use shared memory because the shared memory comes from your RAM and GPU RAM is a hundred times faster than the RAM memory from your system because it's a direct access from the GPU itself where using the RAM in your PC is kind of doing um, a detour, a bypass. So it slows it down which means anything you will want, anything you need to buy that says that you need eight or 10 gigabytes of GPU memory, that means that you'll have to get a GPU or a graphics card that has that amount of dedicated RAM on it. So that's why it's important to verify that. GPU shared GPU memory is seldom used in general because it's slower, games don't wanna use that. It's there, it's available, but it's not what you need to look at for gaming. And the other thing is I get this question all the time, can I allocate some shared GPU to the dedicated GPU or the GPU itself? Doesn't work like that. That is an automated process. When your GPU runs out of its main memory, some apps can be made to go and get that shared GPU to add more. But like I said, the performance isn't the same, so most games will not do that. They need to have the fastest way of displaying something, and the fastest way is to use dedicated GPU RAM. That's how it's gonna work, and that's how it's gonna be fast. So next time you buy a graphics uh, card for a desktop computer, or if you buy a gaming laptop, the very important number to check is, do you have a dedicated GPU? So in my case here, it's uh, an NVIDIA GeForce GPU, which is added to the main GPU of the motherboard, which I have with the AMD um, Ryzen processor. And I have a dedicated six gigabytes to this GeForce, which means any games that requires up to six gigabytes of GPU RAM works fine on this machine. And of course, that's the number that will be important. The rest doesn't matter. The rest is almost useless information because it's rarely used. Like I said, it's slow. So that's the real number. So make sure that you buy a machine or that you buy a graphics card that already has a lot of dedicated RAM. That's how you're gonna know that it's gonna last a long time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.